Okay, you know what? If you can't be bothered to come up with your own introduction, then why don't I just handle this one myself? How about that? But yeah, BCP Wave 6 Tour City Course Route. Um, yeah, we make the predictions together, but it seems Greg already did both of the easy videos. Madrid Drive, the last city course to join the lineup and the one I'm tackling today, is incidentally the hardest to piece together by far. Since I don't intend to make this a half hour video, I'm going to cut the introduction here and jump straight into showing you why. But first, be sure to watch the Prana Plant Cove and Roma Vanti videos if you haven't already. They're not too long, but they'll give some additional context for this stuff. Alrighty, Madrid. The sprawling, wildly varied bomba... Hey, Greg? Can you come back and take your caption box out with you? Thanks. Yeah, sprawling, wildly varied, bombastic, regal, Spanish taking place in broad daylight, all terms that describe the excelente Madrid drive. A phrase that doesn't describe it is easy to predict how it'll work in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Yeah, a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? Not really a good way to market your city. Anyway, as usual, here are mini-maps showing its three routes as they appear in tour. A tale as old as time, you only have one finish line, but one of the route, in this case Route 2, decided to be silly and travel in the opposite direction. Uh, this route, man. Where do I begin with this route? It's not that it's hard to figure out something that works, necessarily, it's just that there are so many things that work. I mean, okay, let's get the obvious groundwork out of the way first. Lap 1 will be Madrid 1 normal, no matter what. No arguments about that, that's the way they've always done it. Then it's pretty much universally agreed that some form of Madrid 3 has to come next. This is because both Madrid 1 and 3 have unique arrangements of the music, which play in the Santiago Bernabeu Stadium and the Prado Museum respectively, and it would be an awful shame to have either of those exclusive to the final lap, when the music is sped up and distorted. And Singapore Speedway, with its Chinatown mix that is heard on both laps 2 and 3, demonstrates that the devs care about this as well. However, I should note that I do not think it's vital that we hear these variants on lap 3 as well. To retread the museum, and especially the stadium, would add all kinds of complication to the routing, while Singapore was bound to be complicated regardless of revisiting Chinatown. And while it isn't a city course, 3DS Rainbow Road not having a final lap variant for the moon music at all, even when you drive backwards onto the moon, is something else to point out. Remember rule number one, simplicity is key. Complication is what we're trying to avoid here. Unfortunately, the simplicity is key rule won't take us very far today. Because while Madrid 1 will obviously be in the normal direction, what the devs will do with routes 2 and 3 is darn near impossible to nail down with a lot of certainty. The museum is a perfect example of when going in reverse would drastically change the scenery and gameplay flow, and as Greg has stated previously, we don't want that. But aside from this awkward fountain bit on Madrid 2 that could always be modified, the rest of 2 and 3 would work perfectly in reverse. In fact, I've heard more than one person stating that the Madrid Atocha railway station on Madrid 3 should be in reverse due to the conveyor belt and the jump out of it. And on top of that, there's so many different ways you could use said train station, as well as the Plaza Mayor, the Calle de los Cuchilleros, and the Segovia Viaduct to get racers turned around. Although you'd have to go out of your way to implement any of those since there's no convenient circular street connected to the finish line, like there was in Rome. I could rant about this layout for like 10 more minutes, but I am trying to keep things concise, so let's move on to a few possibilities I've prepared. I'm gonna go ahead and swap the maps to my Mario Kart 8 Deluxe style mock-up to make it easier on the eyes. First we have what I believe to be the safe prediction, which avoids modifying any of the routes or doing anything in reverse and utilizes a second starting line at this gate at the entrance to Retiro Park, giving us a relatively simple 1 normal, 3 normal, 2 normal progression. Another option that would probably please the most amount of people would be this. Credit to Bacon Juror for bringing this route prediction to my attention. This one uses Madrid 2 Reverse for much of lap 2, but then takes a detour into the museum in the 3 normal direction. It then continues to use the same second start line as the previous route, and Madrid 2 Normal continues through the park until it again takes a detour into the train station as in Madrid 3 Reverse, which is followed for the rest of the race.
I'm a big fan of this one, and the devs have demonstrated their willingness to toy around with root elements. Sydney Lap 2 is a clever combination of 3N and 2N, London made Lap 3 start with a portion of 2N before following 3R, Amsterdam managed to weave together 3R and 3N just to make sure the flower field was in the normal direction, all three laps of Paris are great big mesh mashes, and Singapore... well, Singapore kinda did what it had to do. So this seems pretty feasible. I'm just worried that they may not toy with the routing in exactly this way. For all we know, they could insist on doing the train station in the three normal direction and keep it right before the museum. Again, there's so many options available to them. Speaking of mixing and matching, while I don't like it and I highly doubt it'll happen, I'd be remiss to ignore the technically not impossible outcome where the second lap is mostly Madrid 3 reverse, with players going from the stadium exit straight to the museum exit and the second finish line being somewhere around there, probably at said museum exit. To even out the lap links better, they might swap the viaduct from Madrid 2 with the train station and the lowered street from Madrid 3 like so. Not to sound like a broken record here, but this is the textbook example of modifying the scenery and gameplay flow too much as it pertains to the museum. As it is in tour, the museum is very tightly designed such that you can take in all the lovely art in the straight line and then be forced to make a tricky drift past a prana plant before being rewarded with a trick out. Going in reverse not only puts the hard part at the start, especially if you have to make that tight drift immediately after tricking up some stairs, but it would also make it darn near impossible to hear the music arrangement over the second lap jingle that would probably be playing for most of the time in the art gallery if the finish line is at or near the exit. And yes, of course the devs can remodel things to make it play better. In fact, I'm sure they will in some areas. But fixing these issues wouldn't just mean widening a turn, it would require a very substantial rework of the course design, and I don't think it's worth the trouble. I'm sorry, Waluigi, but I really don't think this is it. Now, that may have been the wrong answer, but how about the lame answer? What if they pull a London slash Vancouver and just do one normal, three normal, two reverse, keeping everything to one finish line in one direction? This is definitely the simplest option. Like I said earlier, it doesn't mess up Madrid too much in terms of scenery or gameplay flow. And unlike the issues with doing the museum in reverse, any parts that could be considered awkward on this route wouldn't be hard to modify. Oh, but don't take that as me defending this outcome. In my opinion, it's better than the last one, but I'd like to think that the devs care at least a little bit about not being lame with this stuff. They've hit the nail on the head with at least three quarters of their city routes so far, so I'm gonna hold out hope that they don't go with this cop-out option. Again, rule number one and a half. Normal variants take priority when it's not a pain to do them, and as I've shown, I don't think it's a pain to do too normal. <sighs> so yeah. As I've shown, there's any number of feasible ways this could go. The only rules I'm personally holding them to are Madrid 1 normal on lap 1, Madrid 3 normal for the museum specifically, and doing the museum once outside of lap 3. Retreading it in lap 3 isn't out of the question. While I may not be able to settle on a specific prediction, for completeness's sake I'll edit together some mock footage of the safe route concept to end the video. And if you're watching this a little later, then there should be a card popping up right about now with a link to a video containing edited footage for all four of the major routes I described. So maybe you can decide which one looks the best and possibly come up with your own ideas. As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts on all of this in the comments. One last thing before I let the footage close out this video. Regarding the obstacles, I think it's safe to assume that they'll keep the football goombas and the painting prana plant, and it would be pretty silly to not have the wigglers in the plaza at least on Madrid 2, or the thwomps in the market of San Miguel. The womps are almost certainly not going to make it over even if we do Madrid 3R, and in the railway station, I think it's a toss-up whether they'll line the gardens with prana plants, regardless of whether it's done in the normal or reverse direction. The goombas on the streets? They'll probably make it over, but who knows at this point. And with nothing more to say for now, I'll leave you to watch the edited gameplay. Like, subscribe, have a good day, happy speculating, and hashtag save Rome for Spiny!